And a welcome back, guys. I'm your host, Keyblade Card 2010. Today, we're doing another archive. I know it's the last and final archive of this one. There's only three days left of the archives. By the time you guys get this out, it'll probably be about two days left. So I would jump right on that as soon as you can because I'm uploading these archives all together. I know it's going to be quite an, a nuisance and I apologize. Bear with me a little bit. But uh, hey, at least you get to know some more archives. So this one um, comes from one of my wonderful teammates that I actually met through uh, and I want to tell a little bit of a story about this one because of the fact that it, it this archive is super short. Like, it's only three pages, and there's no video to it whatsoever. But, so, I was playing um, as Killer, and I was trying to get um, the 4K in the basement. And I have asked multiple people um, a lot of the time, very nicely and very kindly, of... You know, can you help me out? I'm not really good with killer. I mostly play a survivor and I just want to get this archive. I did get some people that were very rude and not very nice to me um, about it. If they didn't want to uh, do that, then I would just play as normal, but none of them told me. But I did get three people that were freaking awesome. And I wish I would have recorded what happened. It was pretty funny. Um, there was only one person that I couldn't contact. The other three were actually in a group and they were concerned about, um, the rando that was with them and they managed to <laughs> help me get the 4k in the basement and we'll leave it at that. I feel kind of bad about how we went about it. But these guys were awesome and they helped me get the last archive to happen even though we kind of made the rando that wasn't in their group. Uh, I, I couldn't really contact them, so it's not like I, like I tried to contact them, but their stuff was on private. So let's just say um, they trapped her in the basement, and um, I got her. <laughs> and then all of them died, and it was super nice of them. They didn't have to do it. Um, but I was super appreciative. It was the one archive that I was having such a hard time actually getting. But it was worth it in the end. And I want to give a big shout out to those wonderful people that actually helped me get this archive. Even though one of them was not really willing to. <laughs> but I think the person caught on to what was going on after I was sacrificing uh, everybody else. Um, but yeah. So I want to say thank you to those guys. And if you ever see this video, give yourself a pat on the back for helping me out. And I appreciate it. And uh, here is the final archive of, uh, of this event. It is called The Revelations. Enjoy. Arcus, 1513. I have used the Oris to explore the memories of an unknown survivor who comes from a world where, from what I can gather, a cult for the entity exists. It's not a surprise, or the first time I've seen such a thing, but the memories suggest she was a detective of sorts trying to prevent a cult sacrifice before she was snatched for the trials. I'm not sure what happened to her, and we'll have to explore the fog to unravel more. Arcus, 1672. I have culled imprints of a killer I have yet to observe. My best guess, judging by the nature of the crimes, is this brute is from Terra Dark. She lured men with love, robbed them of their savings, and fed them to her pigs. Lovely, efficient, and resourceful. The impressions of the memory are as follows. He stands framed in the doorway with flowers, a stupid smile on his dumb face. He has no sense that his days are numbered. Lonely soul made the trip for a wife. He thinks he'll get everything for a ring, her land, her farm, her savings. Won't happen. Won't go as planned. Not as he planned, anyway. It didn't for all the other lonely souls who answered her classified ad. She peers at his eyes and thrills at his ignorance. His long, dumb face. His false sense of superiority. 
He wrote her a poem, how sweet. She'll cram it down his throat when he's convulsing on the floor. She takes his poem and asks about his money. He has it with him, packed his savings in a bag and made the journey for a new start. He'll get more than he bargained for, way more, to the bank with his money, to the pigs with him. Arcus, 4902. Life is not life in this prison, and death is not an escape. It is merely the start of a new trial, and most survivors are aware they are caught in something they will never understand. Why this is all happening is no longer obvious to me. The truth is, I don't know what to believe anymore. The entity is not what it is, or what I thought it was. <laughs>